Hey you guys, me and Mr. Corey are on the hill behind our house. Um, it's just a beautiful sunset up here, but we have some exciting news for you and for your families. Mr. Corey has put together a Grace Life Kids app. Now, his job, he does website development and coding, and so mobile devices and apps like that is not something that he knew before he learned how to do all this to put this app together for you guys and there's so many cool things that are on the app that are going to help you learn more about Jesus and it's going to help you learn important things about the Bible and so we wanted to show you um, how you can use the app and Mr. Corey has some things to tell you about how you can get the app so Corey come tell him all right so the app is available already in the Apple App Store. So if you go to the iOS, if you have an iOS device, you can go to the Apple Store and you can get the app. Um, that's for iPads and for phones. So your families can have a, a time to learn and study more about who God is and his character and who Jesus is together. And uh, we wanted to equip you to do that. And that, we thought that was really important to do. Um, and so, yeah, this is my first ever app. So um, this is, you know, there could be problems and issues with it. It's a beta version, which beta. means beta, which means uh, it's the first time anybody's ever used it and you guys get to be the first ones to use it. So there could be problems and that's okay. I just want you to tell me and so I can fix them and then I'll be rolling out new features and new uh, things coming along to make it even better mm -hmm. and uh, more usable for you guys. And so we really hope you enjoy it and hope you get a lot out of it. Okay, now we're going to show you how to use the app. Okay, so when you open the app, you will see Welcome Grace Life Families. There's a rotating slideshow of pictures. We're gonna try and keep that updated. And there's some basic information about what the app's for. You can access Camp Shadow Lake's website and our access our Grace Life website goes straight to the kids page. If you click on the middle tab with the little light bulb, this is where you can make gospel connections and you can choose depending on your age to draw or you can um, submit one through typing in and explaining your answer. So just quickly drawing something, you see you have the color wheel, you can choose from different colors to draw your gospel connection. And on the spot, I just was thinking about the sunrise and thinking about how when Jesus died on the cross for our sins there was so much darkness and then three days later he rose again and the sun rises every morning in the sky and that makes me think about the gospel and how Jesus defeated sin and death. So before your gospel connection can be submitted you have to have your parent or guardian fill out their name in the blanks this is for security reasons in the app, and um, it was just important to have the whole family involved in this. And so if your parent or guardian could type in their name and any notes that need to be made. Um, if your child drew the picture and then they wanted to tell you what they were drawing, write that in and explain to us their gospel connection. Um, this is going to collect on an email that we can access and we can start to um, put that out before our church family again like we did like in the children's moment or just maybe um, through other avenues but it'll be a way that we can share your gospel connections with others on the third tab this is where you can review the 52 and 52 cards and I sent an email out and a group me out explaining what 52 and 52 was about five years ago. We introduced this resource to our church families. It's 52 questions about the Bible and 52 answers from the Bible about what we believe. Also, we have our God is cards on this section of the app and you can review those with them what each character trait of God means and then you can flip it to the back and that is the verse that we have from scripture that's backing up that attribute and we're trying to help our children memorize those verses. 
And then the last resource, the Bible Timeline, is right here, and it's handy on the app for you to use so you can review this with your children at home. We want to make this more interactive in the future so that children can review and practice on their own, but for now, we just wanted it to be accessible to you guys. You can screenshot this so that you can zoom in if it's hard to read at this point. But we wanted everybody to be able to have easy access to it because so many people ask us, can you send me the Bible timeline? Can you send me the Bible timeline? And so now you have it on the Grace Life Kids app.